Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radicat. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set the formatting in Power BI Desktop. In the new versions of Power BI Desktop, we don't have the format pane in the right hand side. How do you format a visual? It's a really simple change, but I'll show you how this is possible. So previously in Power BI Desktop, we had the format pane in the right hand side when you uh, wanted to format an object, a visual, you would go there and do the formatting. But in the new version, um, you don't see that formatting. This change uh, started from March 2023, early March as a preview version, uh, which is going to be um, soon changed to public um, general availability, but by the time that you watch this video, this might be already generally available. Uh, it is a good change, actually. It helps you to form, find the formatting much easier, but I'll show you how it is. Like when I have an object, a visual like this, I don't have the format pane on the uh, right-hand side where it used to be, but I have it in here. There are some on-object interaction. One of them is to set the data. The other one is to do the formatting. And when you click on the formatting, you can just simply add or remove options like this, like removing zoom slider, adding data labels, or when you click on more options, that is when you get to the format pane. So here is my format pane, uh, which I can easily switch between data and format pane. Another option is that you can right click on the object and choose the format, which will give you uh, get you to the same place of the formatting. So any of these methods. Uh, I'll show you how this works when you create a new visual. So I'll delete this visual and I'm going to create one. I would close this format as well. And that is how you actually can close it. Um, so I'm going to add a visual by internet sales. Now, as soon as I add this, this would become a card visual. Um, as you see here, this uh, on object, item has something called suggest a type. So this automatically suggests a type, which is a card visual in this case. Let's say I'm fine with that. Now I'm going to add English, um, not English education, let's say gender into this. This automatically changes it to a um, bar chart, clustered bar chart, which is fine. But if I'm fine with this type of chart, I don't want any suggestion, I can turn it off. And here I would see all the options that I can go and add data to that, like X axis, Y axis, legend, small multiple, depend on which visual you are trying. So these might be different. Like for example, now I can go and add something in here, such as total product cost to the tooltip, which if I hover on this, I would see total product cost, or I might want to say, well, English education, I would add it as a, as a small multiple, which will then multiply this chart. Uh, as a small multiple, I might want to do some formatting. So I go to the format, but here doesn't have the option for formatting the small multiples. So I'll go to the more options. And here is where I can configure a small multiple and say, I want to have like uh, one row, sorry, five rows, but one column. So this might look a better visual. Now in this case, and uh, to learn about the small multiple, look at my other vi uh, other video about the small multiple. So this video is all about how to do this formatting. As I said, at the time of creating this video, this is a, um, this is a preview feature, so you have to enable it. Uh, otherwise, you still see the old formatting. How the old formatting looks like, I'll show you uh, in a second. So I'm going to turn off this preview feature. By the time that you watch this, this feature might not be preview, so you may not have the option to turn it off. Uh, but I'm going to turn it off. So this is the option for an object interaction, as you can see, um, which I can turn it off because it is preview right now. After turning it off, I have to close the Power BI desktop, reopen it again, which I'm going to do that. And then I would see the old layout. In the old layout, we had it in the right hand side. I mean, right now you can also have it in the right hand side when you click on the um, right click and go to the format or go to the more options, you have it in the right hand side. But for some simple things such as adding um, 
data labels and things like that, you can do it on objects. It's more or less similar to other Office products uh, formatting like Excel and Word, which is much better. So previously it was like that. When you click on a visual, we had this format pane where we went here and do all the formatting configuration, which is pretty much similar to what the new one is. The only difference is that because we had so many tabs in here, it was hard to focus on developing something. Now the new layout makes it easier. So to get the new layout, go to the file, options and settings, options, and enable this feature. Uh, I'm sure in a few months, this would be automatically enabled. So you don't have to do this uh, anymore. After doing that, close Power BI Desktop, reopen it again, and you'll have this um, new unobject interaction. So it's a really good and easy way of doing that. Microsoft did a really good job to make uh, Power BI like other Office products in this formatting and configuration, and this is really um, like a starting point for that uh, makes it much simpler to create something. So here is the new format. And as you can see, uh, when I click on a visual, now this is a custom visual, but let me go to a visual like this, a field map visual. I have this formatting in here and I can go to more options and then I get the format in here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a short video to show you how to do this formatting in a new on object. Um, interaction way in Power BI Desktop. If you like videos like this, go and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you. Bye.